Oh my god, what happened? Very cute, old fashioned, sort of 17th century vibe. Excuse me, I'm so tired. But <clears throat> very cute. I love the scones, the gold fixtures. Nice detail. The Aqua de Parma bath products. Love those. Cutest little sand, hand soaps. Very pretty. Totally gives you Olivia Pope vibes, I thought. I love a duvet. Snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. It's my favorite detail. Along with the architecture on the ceiling which get ready for that <laughs> we were told that's the church that trump and melania held the bible up from we are right to the left of black lives matter plaza and white house is right there straight ahead we'll try to get a view of that later really cute little room i don't know if this is a working fireplace but as cold as it is that would be pretty good. So I love to travel. Um, I think just looking up um, different places and experiences, especially when you work so hard on a day-to-day -day, is one of my favorite things to do. So um, I'm always looking at a beautiful hotel, um, whether that be five-star, four-star, the rooms, of course, um, have to be comfortable and the beds have to look like I actually want to lay on them. So the Hay Adams um, is a total experience. I would say if you're looking for history but not creepy, you don't feel like there's going to be a ghost around the corner, but at the same time, clearly um, it's five star, beautiful location close to everything and customer service experience is top notch and impeccable but also you can walk in and just see the history the obama stayed there before moving into the white house a lot of people have really nice lunches and weddings there so the view um, from the top is overlooking lafayette park i believe and then you also just see a great view of the white house such a beautiful view y'all this is the top of the hay adams um right across from the white house right around the corner from a lot of different monumental places beautiful park right across from the white house such a beautiful day for this view too city center was one of my favorites i'm a shopping girl so if you're looking for 
um, the spot to go check out all of the luxury stores. <clears throat> it's more of an outside um, outside venue or outside mall. So just be prepared. It's not your typical, you know, go in the mall where there's the flagship department stores on the end. So it's absolutely perfect for just getting out and enjoying the day with friends or, you know, <clears throat> loved ones. There are a lot of my favorite stores there. Um, of course, Louis Vuitton's there, Chanel's there, there's Dior, there's Gucci. Um, there is even like a lot of restaurants, which are really cute. But I think they have a lot of like even more specialty stores. Like there was a Carolina Herrera, which you don't see everyone. A Brunello, how do you say that? Cucinello, which is Italian. I mean, there's a Breitling. Um, there's a Montclair store. Um, I mean, things you don't see all the time. And I'm from Atlanta, so like I got to take advantage of it. Not saying we don't have the shops, but we don't have the selection. So if you are from, you know, <clears throat> an area and you want to get out and actually do some special shopping, especially for the holidays or if it's a special occasion, absolutely check out the city center. You say what? Like there's so much good stuff about it. <clears throat> but I don't need another place for this. What is that? What is it? It's a makeup removing balm. Melts your makeup off your skin. Real easy. No salt. Give me the well. Put well. you under the salt on the rim. No, no. I'm too grown for that. So we stopped at Del Frisco's, which I believe is a franchise. They're a chain. They're all over the place. But this particular one, um, I would say, has a really good um, bar. <laughs> so if you are tired of walking and you just need a break to be able to sit down, and, you know, if you really want to order dinner or lunch, we had some amazing appetizers. The bartenders were amazing. They had my favorite tequila. I'm a Reposado girl. <laughs> to get out of this experience with my people. See, if you don't learn your history, you 
was to repeat it. Yes. A child, ain't nobody got time for that. Smithsonian's latest um, latest museum which opened in 2019 so it's the National um, Museum of African American History first of all just walking up to it is beautiful I'm not sure who designed it but the architecture of it almost looks like there's a texture of this bronze um, design along the outside of it so the museum is actually artwork in itself and it's huge. Um, we actually tried to get tickets in advance. So just make sure you don't just walk up and say, hey, I want entry. Because unlike the rest of the Smithsonian, excuse me, the Smithsonian Museums, you cannot just walk in. Um, they have timed entry passes. So if you are trying to get them and you can't get tickets on the calendar and you're looking at it online, just look at... Um, Every morning, the day of, when you know you're actually going, at 8.15, they release like 700 tickets or something like that every day. So what we did was just basically um, set an alarm for 8.15 the morning. We actually wanted to go, checked out the tickets, got two tickets for a 2 o'clock um, appointment. <clears throat> and make sure you show up for your appointment time because they are very much so um set on how many people they have in the building i think that's a COVID, that's a COVID protocol but um tickets are free and what we chose to do is just basically donate to the smithsonian which i think we probably gave ten dollars so just seeing everything that's all in one spot it's it's not even something you can even put into words but there is so much to see there so we went in and started from basically the top floor um, all the way to the main level and then went down. You can't see it in one day. It's not possible. But if you, you know, are ambitious, <laughs> you want to spend a couple of hours, um, it's absolutely an experience. Um, and just overall, just seeing how much effort and how much thought and how much was actually put into the museum um, me being African American just made you really proud. I mean, the culture is amazing. The music and the education and the history. Um, and then some of the pictures, just when you see them, like even though they're in black and white and they're coming back from these times that not even a lot of people had photography, just seeing how they restored these pictures or increased, I guess what you could say, the visibility of them, it looks like you're viewing some recent shots, even though clearly you see, hey, this is set in 1925 or 1905. It's beautiful. Um, there's a Tuskegee Airmen plane literally hanging from the rafters, which is an impeccable shape. There's a train car from Southern Railway. Um, there's real like historical outfits from um, people. There is a couple of spots I will say down on the bottom level that gets you extremely emotional and you'll have to catch your breath. So I'm not going to tell you what that is because those are surprises, but just be ready to be awed, surprised, <laughs> proud, um, you know, angry, sad, upset, you know, I mean, but this it's the history of, you know, African American culture. So we can take you from highs and lows. Um, absolutely a must see. Don't miss it. It's a 
the details for me. I'm so tired. That museum um, takes six days to get through. Lord, it was beautiful, but we tired.
such a cute bar. Yeah, see, it's nice. Let's flip it, y'all. How do we do this? We got the liquors going. Uh, absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. This trip we found um, the Argenta Spa at the Watergate Hotel, which was beautiful. And they had more of a, um, I think a natural, um, maybe natural is not the word, but they definitely used a lot of like rose quartz and jades and their stone massages which I thought was absolutely beautiful. The hotel is very modern and also they are so welcoming and they brought me out a great glass of champagne which usually you have to ask for that but they did that without even asking. So um, bring a book, you know, kick your feet, kick your feet up 30 minutes before or after. But I really had a, um, I think I had a 90 minute massage, which was done with a jade stone. And oh, she really got in there. Really good. I would absolutely recommend going there. Tonight is a dinner of one. Tomorrow's at Bank Center. So your girl's gonna take herself to dinner. Mm -hmm. So we kept hearing about this place and everyone we talked to, even when we said, hey, what's, what's a good dinner spot? And we love some Italian, but I don't know how many times we heard people say, check out Philomena's, check out Philomena's. So we went there. It's beautiful. It's in Georgetown. I would absolutely say um, it's it's a beautiful Italian spot that has a lot of history. It's family owned. I believe they've been there something like 30 years. The service is amazing. The place is packed, so you absolutely must get a reservation. The owner walks around um, and greets you, um, asks you how you're doing, will recommend something for you, which where do they do that in 2021? So um, it's very, very cool spot. Yeah, it's always a margarita. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a tequila girl, so. Yes. That's the turn up drink. The turn, turn up. down is wine. You know, when you just want to be chill, you just want to have a glass of wine. You know, but when you want to like actually stay away. Yeah. Make it skinny. Get some agave and some wine. Such a beautiful monument. Love the detail. Such a beautiful location. A lot of great detail. Let's try to get it.